So, you've seen me get the world record for speedrunning in this game, but am I any good at the main part of the game, which is Arena? The way you play Arena is quite different, but similar to how you would play when you're speedrunning. When you are speedrunning, you're playing against AI, so they won't really be moving the pixelings around. Whereas in Arena, you kind of have to predict where your opponent is going to be moving their pixelings, so you can deal the damage that you need to. This is my first game of the day, and fortunately we got a easy opponent. Normally the harder opponents are the ones that are moving their pixelings around a lot more, so this one is quite an easy game and good for a warm up. With 66 pixelings in the game, there is a lot of different teams that you can make. In this video, I'm using a water sheep team. Normally, you name the team after the mythic pixeling you're using. And I'm not trying to be cocky, but I have to say that this is probably the best water sheep team out there. Though there are some good counter teams that rely on troll teams, which nobody really likes, to be honest. When you get to the double damage phase, my team starts to work a lot better. This is because the pixelings are doing more damage, and because of the water sheep, the pixelings are getting bubble shielded, which means that they're taking a lot less damage than they normally would. So I'm sure a lot of people know this, but what I did there with the Firebolt spell is I used it to delay the opponent's pixeling attacking. This meant that I could move my water sheep out of the way and stop it from taking damage. So what I'm doing here is waiting for Sophia, who is a troll, to attack before I put Vlad in. This is because when all pixelings have full health, a troll will attack a random pixeling. You can move your pixelings around to try and make the troll attack a certain pixeling, but it doesn't always work. So I just wait until Sophia attacks to make sure that Vlad doesn't get damaged early on. Unfortunately, he did get spelled here, so Sophia attacked him because he had the lowest health. Which sucks, but you can recover. <laughs> so, unfortunately Vlad dies here, but the great part of this team is that you can have Tad die, you can have Water Sheep die, or you can have Vlad die, and the team still works great. When it stops working great is when you have Water Sheep and Vlad and Tad all dead, because then it's kind of over, you can't really do much with just Met and Floss. For this team to work the best, you want to bring Tad out first, followed by Vlad, then Met. Met has less health than Floss, so you use him before the double damage phase, but switching Met and Floss doesn't really matter too much. You bring Tad out first because he will do his charged ability, first, which is strengthening the back two positions. Before he does his charged ability, you want to swap Water Sheep for Met, so you strengthen Vlad and Water Sheep. 
you then want to swap Tad for Floss, or if Matt still has quite a bit of health left, you can bring Matt back out. Sometimes the best place to move your pixeling is nowhere, as they'll expect you to move it, but when they move it to where your pixeling already is, their pixeling will die. Normally you would want to kill Roxy over Jennifer, but in this case Jennifer had such low health I knew that Water Sheep would one shot her. So I just let Water Sheep kill Jennifer so that Floss and Water Sheep could both deal damage to Roxy, killing her. And that is the first of our more challenging games over. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda hate playing against this person. I win like 75% of the time, but the team is just such a pain in the ass to play against. They use the spell which drains two of the charges from one of my pixelings. This is really annoying because Tad's charged ability is a big part of my team, but the thing that makes it even more annoying is that their team has three high health pixelings. This means that it not only takes a long time, but isn't as exciting as when your important pixelings are close to death. They also use a tank buster team, which is where they try to kill your tanks as fast as they can, but I only use one tank, so it's not that bad. Because they are one of the better players at switching their pixelings around, I use the spell stalling strategy quite a lot. We are already at the double damage phase and none of the pixelings have died yet. This just proves how long it takes to play against Nishka. Oh. Fortunately for me, my team starts to work a lot better at the double damage phase, so the game won't take too much longer from here.
we play against Nishka again, but unfortunately I lose, so let's just get into it. Interestingly, they're also using a water sheep team as well, so we're just going to have to see which team is better. I reckon it's going to be mine. <laughs> Later in this game, I also figure out that they're not so good at switching their pixelings around, so I adapt to how they play. So here they got a spell on Vlad which is annoying with their troll, but I quite easily recover from this killing their troll. I reckon that spell was for Vlad, but I switched my pixelings around and they accidentally selected Water Sheep instead of Vlad. I do that quite a bit and it's actually really annoying when it happens. I don't think this person has very good internet because normally the spell takes priority over the pixeling attacking but in that case, Water Sheep attack before my spell. So, now that Water Sheep is dead, the game will be over quite quickly. I can use Vlad's charged ability to kill Popo in one shot. Oh, never mind. They gave up. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, subscribing is the easiest way to see all of my future uploads.